my greetings to the viewers of yarn to learn so a few days back i uh, posted a poll asking for uh, the topic of my new video and uh, majority of uh, people wanted me to make a video on effective teaching tips and here i am ready for it and share that with you and uh, do add your own spice of creativity to modify these things and make it better you can also put your suggestions or recommendations to fellow teachers by writing in the comment box let's begin first step is preparedness for anything so preparedness i'll make it very simple for you there are three things a teacher should prepare herself for even if there is not any lesson plan so what is this this preparedness means the three things which are the previous knowledge which means what the child already knows second thing what the child would know and the third thing what the child can know now in the first one what child already knows these are the points which a teacher should know because this is the starting point to take up the topic if you are uh, taking maths for example so if you know the child uh, already uh, knows about uh, numbers then you know that he this is the point to start with whatever you are going to introduce second is what you want the child to know here we are talking of learning outcomes uh, according to the teacher what you want to deliver and after that what do you expect the child to understand and third what child can know is some uh, value added thing it could be based on differentiation or maybe uh, you can integrate something or it can add more value to your topic that you are taking second step is practicing empathy now empathy uh, we uh, you know in simple words is uh, putting yourself in others shoe but here i mean that you need to get down to the level of the child whatever grade level you are teaching whether it's pre primary pre school uh, primary wing or for that matter a senior most class as an adult you need to conceptualize visualize and see things from the perception of the child's age that child age that you're going to teach because this is empathy here for you you know you have already learned a lot you possess a lot of knowledge you have enriching experience with you but for a child it's a new concept it uh, the child is starting to learn trying to understand so it's important to get down to the level of the child third thing is without interruption now um, i have seen uh, teachers uh, getting very irritated when they are speaking something and there is someone at the door asking ma'am may i come in or uh, there is some announcement to be made in the class for that matter because then the teachers flow gets interrupted now same thing applies on the other side and it is very important because as a teacher you can handle that you can bring uh, your children back but when a child is speaking and child makes an error it's important that you do not interrupt the child for example if the child is talking about so there was this tree and um, uh he has uh, a lot of fruits on uh, him and you are correcting it's not he it's it so whatever the child was speaking the flow is now broken the child would lose the confidence uh, next time the child would uh, think 10 times before giving any answer so the point is do not interrupt the child when the child is uh, responding to something or even asking something for that matter and once that thing is done maybe later we can touch it again if it is a quite sensitive you can do it privately if you feel that everyone um, needs to know about that particular thing so you can announce in the class but at a later point of time the next important thing is 
asking questions now there are a lot of questions a lot of variety of questions i have also posted a lot of videos on the typology of questions that you can ask uh, especially uh, you know uh, how uh, you should ask a particular question now here i'm going to simple uh, simply touch one thing that when you are asking questions prefer asking open ended questions not closed questions now closed closed means you know it's contained so when you ask a simple question to a child uh, did you enjoy your day to day in school so the answer could be what yes or no so it's the closed answer yes i enjoyed no i didn't enjoy so what i am suggesting is open ended which means there are a lot of options in the answers that could be given the same question could be asked in a better way uh, so what was that moment that you enjoy in the school today now here what the child would think about that particular moment okay it was the science period when we went into our school lawn and we touched and observed the leaves and plants so now the child is giving you a proper answer this was just a random question so pertaining to your subject you should ask more of open ended questions to children so that they can get an opportunity to explain another important thing is to keep your tone as a teacher positive now for this uh, you would need a bit of effort from your end because sometimes we are tuned to say things in a particular way do not do that don't go there do not lie so this is negative tone so in english we call them you know negative phrases negative sentences because not is coming a positive tone for a simple thing if you are telling a child do not lie positively you can tell the child i'll appreciate if you will speak the truth so without using a no you have told the same thing so if you have a positive tone it is more impactful to children and they tend to listen better uh, to pay attention better and to follow better further uh, do give genuine compliments to children uh, i always say that because uh, motivation or uh, words of praise do not hurt anyone but uh, it is scientifically proven fact that when somebody genuinely praises you you feel too good about it and you feel so happy and motivated and uh, teachers believe me if you will do that genuine compliment on any particular thing that today you work was far better than uh, do not even compare today your work was uh, very good your handwriting was better or the way you answered i was really impressed it can be about any other thing that you are sitting very nicely or um, i like uh, your body language when you uh, come to me it's very formal whatever so it should be a genuine compliment also uh, one more thing that uh, try to i know it's going to tough thing that i'm going to ask that try to remember names and take names while addressing the children it is also very impactful though it seems like how does it matter that we are saying hey you yes that that one behind that second bencher back bencher first bencher so do not tag them with the objects or uh, taking you know prepositions where they are sitting and all rather Uh, try to uh, connect them taking uh, with them taking their names so if we take names they again listen better understand better and there is rapport building that goes so that is it from my side so these are not pedagogies or methodology for teaching these are simple effective teaching tips besides your content if you pay attention to such things because these days it's very challenging to manage your class so the children are very smart they are challenging and uh, sometimes uh, a teacher needs to look for some extra tips so i hope these would really help you and as i said earlier please uh, keep uh, helping others by writing your own experiences in the comment box so that it can really help our uh, teaching community all the best god bless you all